guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting another reading vlog. I meant to start this honestly literally all of last week because, well, I wanted to like do some cute birthday stuff because yesterday was my birthday, but we didn't do that um, because I'm lazy. It was a weird week. It's fine. Um, so anyway, we're starting it today, which is Saturday, which is June 12th. Um, I am just gonna do like a quick little intro because we're about to go to Ikea and pick up my new bookcase, which is probably gonna be going in our bedroom. I haven't really decided yet. I just need just a little bit more space. We're gonna figure out which books I'm putting on there. It might be like a TBR bookshelf or something. I haven't really decided yet. Um, so I'm just doing a quick little intro. We're gonna go up to Ikea, which is a fair distance away. We're gonna pick that up because that was one of my birthday presents. Um, when I get back before I start putting it together, I do have a little bit of a book haul to do for you guys. I've gotten a few books this week. Well, in just a regular haul also because Z from You Can't Catch Z is the best friend ever and she sent me a bunch of stuff for my birthday because she's a sweetheart. So I'm gonna show you guys because it's not gonna be an unboxing because I'm an impatient bitch and I opened it all already. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys all of that stuff, which I'm really excited about, and some of the books that I picked up yesterday, and we'll go from there. I have started June off pretty well, honestly. I mean, we're about two weeks in, and I've finished two books, and I, no, finished three books, and I am in the middle of two other books. Um, I'll let you guys know how that's going later. Well, no, I guess I can just tell you what I'm in the middle of, obviously. Um, I'm in the middle of Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, and I'm also in the middle of the first law book. What is it? The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. Um, that one's not going as well. I kind of got myself into a bit of a fantasy burnout, so I switched over to a little bit of romance and sci-fi, so we might be doing that for the rest of the month. We shall see, but... Yeah, that's my quick update. I just wanted to start this vlog really quick. It's gonna be a weirdly timed vlog because I'm starting it on a Saturday and going to, I don't know, maybe next weekend. Maybe this is gonna be a weekend thing. I really have no clue what we're gonna do. So um, I think we're going out with a few friends tonight and we're going to, sorry, I didn't feel like setting up my tripod. So this is gonna be shaky because I'm holding it. I think we're gonna do like dinner and an escape room tonight. Okay, well, there's an ember. Hi, Em. What are you doing? Hi. Pretty girl. Anyway, uh, we are doing an escape room, I think, tentatively tonight, as well as, oh, um, Thai food for dinner, which I'm pretty excited about. We have a really, really good Thai restaurant that we really like, and maybe a barcade? We don't know yet. Uh, restrictions where I live have completely lifted as of yesterday. So we're kind of slowly getting back to normal here. We're all vaccinated. So it's going to be a good time. I'm pretty excited. And I am going to go and make sure that I can fit this bookcase in my car. Uh, I will update you guys later when we get back and maybe probably most likely film me putting the bookshelf together. <laughs>
welcome to Sunday. As you have already seen, I should have put a clip in before. Um, we succeeded in getting my bookshelf yesterday. Uh, today is Sunday. So we put it together today, yesterday night, yesterday night, last night ended up being like more hectic than we anticipated. So we like, we got back from picking it up later than we thought. Um, and ended up going out with friends, like I said, and we went out super late and had a lot of fun, but that left me a little bit hungover today. So we had a late start today too, but we ended up putting the bookshelf together around like noonish, ish one-ish after doing a bunch of other stuff and adulting around the house a little bit. Um, took a nap because that's, that's what I do as a grown up. So we are finally to the point now that I think I can start loading books onto my shelf. The plan that I have here is it's gonna be my TBR shelf, pretty much. Um, my cart was fine, but not really cutting it. I just need a little bit more space to kind of just expand my, my actual bookshelves that I usually film in front of. We're getting a bit crunched. Um, so we, we have a little bit more room now. We're going to utilize it as a TBR shelf, and the TBR cart is going to tentatively become like an unhaul cart. Um, but before I start loading stuff onto it, I wanted to talk about the books that I had read because essentially this is supposed to be a reading vlog. Um, and I have done reading things. So like earlier this week, I talked, or yesterday, I talked about how I had picked up Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, which I don't have in my room right now, it's out there. Um, I'll pop a picture of it over here. Anyway, I read Project Hail Mary and in literally like two days, three days. I loved that book so much. If you don't know, Project Hail Mary is Andy Weir's newest book. He's the author of The Martian, which is a book that I also loved. I've mentioned it on my channel before. I'm a forensic chemist, so sciencey things in books get me very happy, very nerdy. And I nerded it out this entire time. Um, and Project Hail Mary is essentially kind of like a first contact story and it was so good. So it, it, it expanded kind of the comfort zones that he stuck in with The Martian, where The Martian, I mean, yes, all of the science was very valid, but it's all also something like fairly plausible for us to do and try and accomplish, hopefully relatively within the near future, um, if you pay any attention to that kind of stuff in the news. So, uh, the Martian definitely stayed within the comfort zones of what, you know, should hopefully happen in the near future and all of the science exists and all of that stuff. Well, in Project Hail Mary, what happens in the beginning, without giving away any spoilers, is the sun is starting to die and they don't know why. Um, they have detected some kind of a radiation signature that is coming off of the sun and connecting it to Venus. Um, and they have sampled it and essentially it is some kind of alien life form that is draining the sun. Obviously this is bad for humanity because if the sun dies, we plunge into an ice age, you know, even just a few degrees makes all of the difference for climatology. And um, you follow Dr. Ryland Grace, who used to be involved in like scientific academia. Um, I want to say a microbiologist somewhere within the biology field. Um, he kind of fell out with academia and decided to become a middle school science teacher instead. And he kind of just gets sucked into trying to save humanity from this threat. And oh my god, it was so good. I know that a couple of the reviews that I watched or looked at on it, um, didn't quite love that it was super sciencey and technical. And it, I do think that the science was a little bit heavier in this than it was in The Martian. Personally, I adored it. With this kind of thing, I kind of tend to just relax my brain in terms of like thinking about all of the scientific possibilities and whether or not it's actually a thing that could happen. There were a couple of things that, yes, technically were not 100% accurate, but Andy Weir does his research, so I really, I'm not gonna nitpick all of it just because um, most of it was fairly accurate. And that happens so rarely in science fiction books where like this, he, he actually like talks about the science in terms that a lot of, um, you know, like lay people can understand but it still works. The science makes sense for the things that he's explaining. And I just loved it so much. I loved 
everything about that book. I want to reread it immediately. Um, I learned a little bit from it, which was pretty cool. I just, it was so good. It was fantastic. I loved it so much. It got five out of five stars. I really want to reread it, so it might end up on my TBR shelf because I really want to read it again. My favorite thing about the entire story was Rocky, and I'm not going to say any more about what that means, but if you read it, you'll understand because that will be your favorite part of the story also. Um, it, was, it was so great. I, it, was, it was amazing. I had read the majority of it. We had to drive like an hour and a half away to pick up the bookshelf yesterday. So that's what I was doing on the drive there. Um, anyway, so that was very awesome. I loved it. It was great. Andy Weir, one of my absolute favorite science fiction authors now because of the two books of his that I've read. I haven't read Artemis yet, but I also didn't hear great things about Artemis, so I don't necessarily know that I want to pick it up right now. The other book that I read was Legacy by Nora Roberts. She just released this new book um, very recently, and I tend to read most of her standalones like as soon as they come out or as soon as I can. Legacy follows a woman by the name of Adrian, who is the daughter of a like a yoga fitness guru. She's um, Her mom is one of the like a one of those yoga instructors that has all of the workout DVDs and all of that stuff. She kind of followed in her mom's footsteps and she produces a lot of workout videos as well. Uh, they're very well known for it in their community. She's been receiving a bunch of threatening notes um, over the years since she was about 17, which is when she made her first workout video. And it kind of comes to a head in this story. Um, and she also does deals with all of that while falling in love with Raylan, which now that I think about it, it's actually super entertaining to me because I was reading Legacy and Project Hail Mary at the same time. The main guy in Project Hail Mary is Ryland, and the main guy in Legacy is Raylan, and the main girl in Legacy is Adrian, and if you've read Project Hail Mary, that comes into play at some point later on in Project Hail Mary as well weird connection there for me, but th it happened. Anyway, so she ends up falling in love with a guy named Raylan, who is a widower with two kids, and he is a, like, an illustrator, I don't know, owner, producer. He's involved in the graphic novel industry. He illustrates, but he also does all of the storylines, and he owns it with a couple of his uh, best friends. Anyway, um, that's that's Legacy. It's It was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, I think I gave it four out of five stars. I have hit a point with Nora Roberts's books where her standalones, I've read them many, I've read all of them, and while the story itself always changes, the main characters do just kind of seem to be the same people with different jobs over and over again. That's a very blanket statement. Obviously, I'm a big Nora Roberts fan. This is not going to stop me from reading any of her books, but it was more prominent, I think, in this one than it has been in her other ones, that these were characters that I've read before, but they just have different names and different jobs and different situations and all of that stuff. But whatever. It's it was still a good book. I gave it four out of five stars. I enjoyed it. It was a nice romance and it broke me out of what was starting to be a reading slump because after I finished The Blade itself and there was another fantasy novel that I read earlier on like last week and I was just giving myself fantasy burnout so I'm really trying to be more conscientious of switching up genres which I think means that my next book probably going to be another sci-fi because I just want to try and make sure that I can pull myself out of it. Um, get back into the groove. So I've been talking for 10 minutes about those two books. I think I just want to jump right in and start putting books on my TBR shelf and just kind of see what we can do organizationally over here. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna pull you guys out to my other bookshelves because I have a couple of things that I want to show you a few books that I've gotten recently and a couple of things that I got for my birthday and I think that this is maybe just going to be a weekend reading vlog probably not that I've actually done any reading in it but I built a bookshelf which is you know it's fine so yeah let's just jump right into the TBR shelf
I guess that was technically a bookshelf reorganization. I, I don't know if it's gonna stay that way. I went pretty simple just because this is not what I'm gonna be filming in front of. Um, so it's literally just like separated by genre and then like author's last name. Um, so like I've got my fantasy along the top, two shelves, uh, three shelves actually. My very, very top shelf is all adult fantasy. My second two shelves are like new adult slash young adult fantasy. Um, the next shelf down is my sci-fi, which is just a mix of young adult and adult. And then my next shelf down, which is mostly empty, is um, like contemporary or romance or like if it's primary genre is not either fantasy or sci-fi, it went on that shelf pretty much. Um, so like anything that is mostly a romance or like traditionally written by romance authors went down there. Um, so real quick before I wrap up this non-reading weekend vlog, um, I just wanted to go over a couple of things that I picked up um, in the last couple of weeks birthday stuff that I have received. So yeah, we'll just jump right into it. So first of all, I want to send out a huge thank you to Z from You Can't Catch Z. She's one of my besties here on booktube and she spoiled me with not just Elantris by Brandon Sanderson, but also The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams because she's awesome. Um, and in addition to that, she knows how I am and she actually got me an entire packet of these really awesome like sticky tabs because I am I am a sticky tabber um, so these are gonna come in handy and this is a massive pack guys there's like if I can do this without dropping the whole thing like look at how many sticky tab options I now have I'm so excited and they're such pretty pastel colors so thank you again Z for spoiling me for my birthday because you are awesome. This is gonna be loud. Okay and then in addition to that I picked up a few things over the last few weeks um, book wise. First off for my book of the month I received Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, which of course I already talked about. I already finished. I'm pretty sure this is the quickest I have ever read a book of the month book. Um, I was so excited to get my hands on this. I literally almost bought it at Barnes and Nobles last weekend and put it back. And then when uh, the first of June rolled around, I realized that this was actually one of the options for an add-on. So I leapt onto that opportunity and I'm so glad I did. Honestly, this is probably my favorite book of this year so far and I've been having a really good reading year so that's not you know that's nothing to laugh at but yeah so I started off with Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir and my actual book of the month choice was Half Sick of Shadows by Laura Sebastian um if you've been following my channel for a while like since the very beginning because it was the first book review I ever did please don't go watch it was for Ash Princess also by Laura Sebastian I loved that book so much. I still haven't moved on to the rest of the series. Um, the second one is on my new TBR shelf, so hopefully we will be getting to that. But I really liked everything about her writing. I really liked the, her style, her prose, all of it. It was really great. And so I was really excited to see what she was going to do with some kind of Arthurian retelling because I am a sucker for King Arthur and King Arthur retellings. We actually have uh, the Barnes and Noble's copy of the King Arthur and his round table stories um, out there. It's like in my classic section. And I haven't read it yet, but I would love to someday. Merlin is one of my favorite shows of all time. So yeah, I'm a big King Arthur nerd. Next, I also picked up Wrath by John Gwynn. This is book four. I now have it handy, which means that I can move on to ruin anytime that I want to. Um, probably would like to get to it this month. There's not really any guarantee that that's gonna happen. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to avoid fantasy burnout. So we will see if I manage to pick up Ruin this month or not. But yeah, so we got Wrath. And then we went to Barnes and Nobles on my birthday. So we went out to dinner and then we went over to Barnes and Nobles um, because I had a like a $5 off of 30 uh, coupon and I've got a Barnes & Noble membership so we ended up picking up we 
it was pretty, it was, I, I ended up picking up The Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. I did already talk about this, but I didn't have a physical copy of it. And I really, really wanted one because I loved this book so much that I know I'm going to buy the second one. And I don't really want to have the second one without having the physical copy of the first one. So, plus I think that that's something that John would like. And John does not like reading ebooks, so I would like him to be able to pick it up in the future as well. So we have a physical copy for when that happens. I also picked up Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. Um, I don't really know much about this other than that I think that they're zombies and I think that it's the Civil War. Yeah, the Civil War. Zombies and the Civil War. I want to say that this is one of like Liana's favorite books from Liana's library. I could be 100% wrong on that and mixing it up with another booktuber that I watch, but yeah, I, I've heard good things about this. So I'm intrigued by Civil War and zombies. I mean, it can't be terrible, right? Anyway, and then the last one is The Prey of Gods by Nikki Drayden. I know literally nothing about this. Um, John saw it in Barnes and Nobles. He was interested in it. I needed to get to $30. We picked it up. I, it's sci-fi. There's robots in South Africa, and this child, this child is terrifying. Like, she scares the crap out of me. So, yeah, that is that one. And that is all of the stuff that I have received recently. Um, that is my new bookshelf. I had a very good birthday and a very good birthday weekend. Hey guys, I thought I was done with this vlog, but apparently I'm adding more to it. Uh, I just got done filming my fairy loot unboxing, and if you haven't watched it yet, it was awesome. I really enjoyed everything in it. I'm really excited for future fairy loot boxes. I loved every single item that came in. So mostly because I haven't actually done any reading since I talked to you. Yeah, no, I haven't done any reading since I talked to you yesterday. It's been a busy day. We've had adulting issues. So I don't have anything reading wise to update you with and I apologize for the state of the bookshelves if they look messy in the background. I still haven't organized these after I moved a bunch of things off of it into my TBR shelf. So this needs a little bit of a rehaul. I guess the sci-fi shelf is actually the worst. It's a mess up there. You guys can't see. That's a good thing. Um, but the real point of this update was to not really do another unboxing because I already unboxed it because like I said, I'm an impatient bitch. But I did get two more birthday presents in the mail and one of them is from Z again, because she spoils me. Um, and I appreciate it because she's such a good friend. But she got me this t-shirt, which says Druid, Force of Nature. And she got it to me because in our D&D &D campaign, I do play a Druid, a Druid elf. And honestly, I love it so much. It's so pretty. I can't wait to wear it. I'm gonna film my next video in it. You're prepared. That's what's going to happen. Thank you so much, Z. As always, I will link her channel down below. I've probably said that already in this video, but uh, I'm gonna just link it all the time because honestly, you guys need to check her out. If you haven't already, make sure you go and subscribe. And the other birthday present that I got in the mail was Bloody Rose by Nicholas Ames, and this is from Chelsea from Chelsea Zhao's channel. You guys probably are already subscribed to her already if you're watching me, but if you're not, definitely go and watch her because why wouldn't you? She does Mass Effect play-alongs for the new Legendary Editions of Mass Effect that are awesome. She reads so many amazing books. She's such a sweet person, and her adorable baby constantly makes appearances in her videos. So obviously go and check her out as well. And thank you so much, Chelsea, for sending me this for my birthday. I loved Kings of the Wild last year, so I really can't wait to move on to Bloody Rose. This one, I believe, is based on, like, 90s music. I think it's thicker than Kings of the Wild. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit bigger than Kings of the Wild. I can't wait. This follows... I don't know if it's a spoiler to tell you who it follows. It follows a character from the first book's child. We'll go with that. Um, so, that is it for the things that I wanted to show you guys that I got in the mail today. It's pretty late, like John and I are usually going to bed right now, but we've been outside doing yard work and getting our HVAC fixed and all sorts of other not fun stuff um, that one must do when one owns a house. So we've been, we've been adulting all day. I've got to make sure that I go to bed because I've got a lot of stuff to deal with at work tomorrow. We are, it's gonna be a busy week anyway. Uh, that is it for this update. Like I said, there was zero reading in it. I listened to the first Blade. Is that? 
that's not it. Traitor's blade? No. The blade itself. Okay. I need to go to bed. I listened to a little bit of the blade itself while I was out mowing the lawn. I, like I said, I'm trying not to put myself into a fantasy slump, so any reading that I do fantasy-wise this month might just have to be audiobook, and that's just how we're gonna have to do it. Um, we shall see. I've got a couple of road trips that are lengthy that I might be able to knock a fantasy book out during, but uh, yeah, that is it for this update. My video is gonna be a little bit late going up tomorrow, most likely, just because I obviously have not edited or done anything to this yet, and it's already 7.30 at night. But um, I think that is it for me today, guys, so I will talk to you in my next one. I hope you're having an awesome day or night, wherever you are, and I will try and leave all of the links to the books that I talked about, because I don't really remember everything that I talked about, but I'll try and leave all of the links to all of them down below, as per usual, as well as links to Z's channel, because if you're not subscribed to her already, you should, because she's awesome. So, that is it for me today, guys. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.